Hi everyone. If you're ready to pack to go on a holiday trip with your family to celebrate Thanksgiving or Christmas, stick around because today I will be sharing a front door fashion box set up just for you. You should have all you need right in here. So as my stylist says, something that would pack your suitcase with limited space but several needs. It would include clothing for an itinerary full of shopping and sightseeing, big meals, and the cozy late nights visiting. And of course, the holiday outfit. Here we go. The whole collection was put together in order to mix and match and be able to spend three days or more just flipping what you got. And also we had to account for weather. Here in Texas, it's not so cold. My face is literally burned from blustering wind because I walked my dog. We need to account for, you know, folks that live all over and having layers is the best bet. Not only that, we have layers here that are quite elegant and at the same time dressed down. This would be an outfit that you would be able to walk out of the airplane instead of just wearing like a jumpsuit. Just wear something that is both comfortable and a little bit more elegant so that you can meet up with family, friends, and go straight to lunch or dinner or some other event that you have planned with your family. I love this cashmere blouse underneath here. It has ribs on the sleeves. It is a little see-through, so you should wear it with an undershirt, which adds another effective layer. And then on top, it's almost like a shrug, but it's actually a small three-quarter length jacket with fake shearling. And it has this beautiful color on it almost like um i think it's reading really warm but it's almost cool toned almost a gray brown that can be another layer and then of course a l nice warm scarf can add on to the comfort and coziness and then my windbreaker jacket that will help me get through to places and keep me warm. I just need something to wrap my face so my skin doesn't get burned. So let's look at the details. Oh, the pants are fantastic and I've been hoping, hoping, hoping. I need your guys help in deciding whether or not I should keep these pants because they are very nice and stretchy and you can eat with them and they will expand but still stay smooth around your waist. So it's not like an elastic band. It's just a stretchy pair of pants that is just so comfortable. My issue with it, it appears to be a little too short, but I don't know. Maybe I can get away with it by just wearing my tennis shoes. I'm wearing, I think these are Echoes, and I'll put a link in the description for them, and they match my jacket beautifully, so that's why I decided to wear them, but obviously nice booties would be so much more elegant, but um, this is what I decided to wear for the video. So take a look.
also my sister requested that I teach you how I wrap my scarf. And I think this is a good time to do that. I love wearing just a plain sweater or even a t-shirt on warmer days with a scarf wrapped about around my neck. But the way I wrap it so that the ends do not hang, I will show it to you quite easily hold on so pretty much i just wrap it around my neck a couple of times and then i tuck in the ends so that they disappear and then i fluff up the middle to make it interesting of course if i were doing this in front of a mirror i would make sure i don't see these little strings and then it's good to go pretty much i will stay set I love the versatility of this outfit from the fact that the pants extend and will not be <laughs> making me feel super tight both on the plane or when I had an extra meal. Also the jacket that is in as far as Vogue is concerned with the metallics look and my shoes that match the jacket, the flareness on the jean pants because really... <sighs> I'm one of those last souls that have still been wearing skinny jeans. Sorry. And the little faux furry jacket is just lovely, cozy, comfy. I love it. Uh, every year I wear a little fur. This time of the year is just fun for me. It makes me feel elevated. Also, the hooks the way that this jacket hooks. You can wear it in different styles just by hooking different buttons depending on what you're trying to achieve. Now a second look that would be ideal for the situation where you can just travel with it and go straight to a meal or sightseeing would be this gorgeous top. And look at this print. It is much like a Italian paper. There is this art of painting and creating Italian paper that is just gorgeous. So that's what this print reminds me of. It has the two buttons right here and the long ribbon tie. Look at that, how pretty. Yeah, it's a little yellow. I'm sorry about that. The lighting here is not ideal, but once I move away, you should be able to see it better. What she says is that the shirt is a statement piece on its own. So if you still feel the need to wear layers or you feel uncomfortable wearing such a gorgeous print, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable doing that. You can put the fur jacket or the black leather jacket that's coming on in the following collection. I will show you all three looks and you can decide. So that you know, the jeans are from NYDJ. It's called Waist Match. And the top is Autumn Cashmere Rib Edge Crew, which is the one that I had on before. It's called Chalk. The jacket is called Heart Loom in the color Cocoa, as in coconut, not cocoa the drink. And the this top right here is a winter blouse, winter with a Y by Marie Oliver in Malachite. And I guess it's calling Malachite because it has the beautiful markings of Malachite stones that are usually green. So let's take a look.
think with this shirt, I would do a real heavy eyeliner right here. I think it would look so fabulous. All right, super nice. Here's for the second collection. Lounging around after the festivities or having your family's traditional holiday PJ party. Yeah, we have one every year. Pair the cashmere sweater with the super soft print joggers and neutral modal long cardigan. This is a great way to look polished for any candid photos that may be snapped, but still cozy enough to go right to sleep. Just add slippers and cocoa yum all right i love it and uh the new two new pieces for these are lna's brushed rib pant and south caught acapulco modal sweater one is in zebra and then the other one is in pearl i'm looking forward to trying this on because i am an advocate of lounging in clothes that you feel comfortable and pretty in most of my days i spend spend editing or planning or doing things at home and I like to be dressed in a casual comfortable outfit just like we all did during the pandemic so let me know down below if you think an idea of having a box with just casual loungewear is something that would interest you because I'm all for that. Maybe in January when the cold days just makes you want to snug up and read a book and drink your tea or cocoa, but I try to stay with tea. All right, let's take a look. Before I show you the entire look, I want to show a detail I had missed on the sweater and it is the back. Take a look at the back of it and how pretty the little gathers and stitching is. Now, did you notice how beautiful the pajama pants are with my stripy hair, like zebra? It's got a soft gray and a soft beige, but it goes beautifully with gray hair, guys. So if you're there already, I'd get the pajama pants. <laughs> And the slippers are from J. Crew. I hope they still have it this year. I, I buy them every year and I love it that they always have like this little gold sheen to it. Some years they vary the amount of pinkness or grayness on the slippers, but I buy one every year. Totally worth it. Now for the third collection, there are four outfits and a bonus that will pretty much get you through any party or event or casual or dress up occasion that you might have. Their trousers, I think they're supposed to be cropped, but because I'm so short, they just hit me right above the ankle. I'm wearing them with Sam Edelman's Flats. And then you have this beautiful black and white printed blouse that I did not change my undergarments, but I will give you a close up on it and all its beautiful details. Black and white cardi coat, which is 
so pretty and so elegant it's fuzzy and gorgeous and it might be a little too big for me on the shoulders because i have that pear-ish shoulder and then the fun part is the floral earrings that are in gold so a statement it's just it gives you a pop of je ne sais quoi i would pair this with this little clutch that my daughter borrowed and I have no idea where it is. So I would have to hunt that down. Let's see, what else they say? Loosely tuck or front tuck the blouse and enjoy the juxtaposition of the classic black and white combo with the unexpected pattern mixing. What I liked about this shirt as well is that the sleeves have elastic at the end so you can wear them both long as long sleeves or bracelet length sleeves. I love that. This outfit is very casual. It can take you anywhere and keep you toasty. All it is is the jeans from the first collection. I would probably wear them with short little black boots, which I do not own a pair. And I'm wearing the floral black and white top. And to toughen things up a little, the beautiful black jacket. Just to bring a pop of color, we're using my scarf. For this next look and this is the beauty of having a stylist work with you they know the pieces you have already so they try to work them into your looks in this case i have had these since my very first box she has found a way to wear them pretty much with every box that she has put together for me thank you bethany this look is the leather pants the cashmere sweater that was in the first collection and then the black and white coat and of course i'm wearing this with my ballet flats and i looked it up you may wear leather or fake leather during daytime so i absolutely am keeping this pair because even though i know it's supposed to be cropped i think i like the uh, proportions of the pants and i am keeping them let me know what you think Check out this daytime look, you guys. Absolutely something I can spend my whole day going to the grocery store or running kids to the orthodontist. So super easy, fun, different, unique. I'm keeping these black pants. And now for the piece de resistance, which I think would make a fantastic office party, you know, off office. Like say if we go somewhere super elegant, this can go all the way up to a long dress gala to down to a little bit more relaxed look, which is how I am styling it today. And here's what she says about this final look that if you want to be the coolest 
I'm sure she did not say coolest. If your goal is to be the most striking in the room, but effortlessly so, pair a classic black leather jacket over a stunning party dress, and you can use the delicate self belt or try the black wrap belt from my previous box. And what I chose to do is just keep this belt because instead of wearing high heels, I am wearing my cheetah flats. Super comfy. <laughs> so this is a very casual, fancy look, but you can definitely dress it up with your glittery pumps and your nicer belts, of course. Of course, I love the green. She also recommended that I wear the earrings with this outfit, but I passed on that because I'm wearing the hair down, but I guess a little French chignon would look really elegant and fun with this as well. Thank you so much, Bethany, for putting this amazing and truly you surprise me every time with these fantastic looks. I hope this was super fun for you guys. I hope you gathered perfect ideas. Everybody has a leather jacket, a nice dress, a couple coats, a couple of accessories that you can put all together. Once you see it done professionally and expertly, it's amazing what you can do with clothes that seems to be disjointed like leather in a fancy silky dress. If you want to see more of these boxes that Bethany has put together for me, go right here. I will have a link to Front Door Fashion down in the description. And if you need somebody to dress you up for the season, just click on that link, answer a few questions, and Front Door Fashion will send you a box and you get $50 off the first item you purchase. So cheers for that.